Hello. We have modeled the clock, timer, and structure aspects for the traffic light case study. Now we will model the behavior aspects for the traffic light case study. For behavior aspects, behavioral aspects, we will be using the state machine diagram of UML. So the state machine diagram will be inside the block traffic lights controller because basically the behavior is a classified behavior of the block traffic lights controller so right click on the block then new diagram then UML state machine diagram you can call it as behavior state machine has been created you can rename it as FSL now we have two behaviors basically one is the north south road lights behavior and the second one is east west road lights behavior so first we will model the and both the behaviors will execute in parallel so first we will model the north south behavior and then we will move to the east west so first of all start with the initial node which will basically the start of an of a behavior we have a reset state which is basically outside both the behaviors you can rename it as reset then transition from initial to reset okay Okay, now we you need to use the fork node because we need to model two parallel behaviors. So for that we use fork node. Now the transition from reset to fork will be on now. Now this transition. This transition from initial to the reset state cannot have any guard or trigger conditions. So now the reset the system will leave the reset state only when there is no reset. So in other words reset is off. So we have to trigger it on the reset this transition from the reset to the fork node on reset board to trigger it on the reset board select the transition go to the properties scroll down and the trigger section click plus button then on board because we are triggering it on board not on event so right plus button and then browse for the reset port here is the reset port select this okay so it is triggered on the reset port now there is a condition that reset must be false for firing of this transition so we also have a guard constraint on this transition for that Go to the properties and then guard plus button constraint so the name for the constraint is optional I'm not selecting any name context will automatically set as transition if you can set if you want to set it then you can set it from here 
but it will automatically set it will be automatically set as transition so i'm not setting the constraint context so the constraint element will be the reset reset port and the specification will be literal boolean which is false so this means that this transition will fire only on the only when the reset is off and this is how you set the trigger and guard conditions on the transitions now we have uh, two fsms two finite state machines two behaviors one is north south and one is east west so first we will model the north south for that take a state and then a region inside the state you can rename it as and as fsm now resize it because now this is basically a composite state okay now this will basically an independent behavior so we need an initial node for this in an internal fsm as well so this will start from the states the ns contains basically five states of green yellow red and tree green so first indicate the states first of all off state First of all, off state. And then we have a green state. Basically, it's green. You can rename it as green. Then we have a yellow state. Then we have a yellow state. Then we have a red state. Okay. And then we have a pre green state. And then we have a pre green state. Okay. So now we need, we have to show the exact transition between transitions between states the flow of states so first of all the behavior will start from the initial store and the system is in off state then from off state it will transition to the green state it will jump to the green state but it will jump to the green state off to green but this transition will be on the clock signal which means that this transition have to be fired on have to be triggered on clock board so we will trigger it on clock board like uh, in the properties tab go to the trigger section click this button this window will come up select the board you want to trigger it on i want to trigger it on clock 
so we need cloth then okay now I want that when this transition occurs when this transition fires as a result the value of EW to red command we have declared in structure as a port EW to red CMD becomes true I I want on the firing of this transition the value of EW to red CMD to red command port becomes true so for that we have an effect here that an effect of transition one effect of transition I want it as opaque behavior select the language for opaque behavior natural language I select you can select whatever you want I want that EW to red sorry EW to red CMD is equal to true this is effect of transition as effect of transition EW to red CMD becomes true okay now in this state clock in this off state the activity clock should be called because when you call this in uh, when you call clock activity in off state the clock will start execution only then so you have to call an activity in the off state clock activity in the off state in order to execute it so activity so for that you have to do you go to the property section do activity do activity is an activity which is performed while system is in that state so plus button activity create a new activity create a new activity let's say I call it as call clock okay now it's do activity is call clock uh, activity has been created inside the off state now go to the model explorer remember now only the activity has been created but the clock activity hasn't been called yet so we have created an activity inside the clock inside this off state now go to the model explorer and browse for the off state we have off state here inside the FSM is NSFSM off state now here is call clock now right click on call clock activity go to new sysml child new child and call behavior action select call behavior action now call behavior action call behavior action is basically calls the activity inside an activity so here is the behavior you want to call yes browse for this I want to call clock yes on which board on clock board okay this is how an activity is called inside the state you have to first create an empty activity and then call it the activity you want to call from that empty activity now green from the green state the system will tr jump to the yellow state directly when there is an emergency or in other words when emergency sensor is on then the 
system will jump from green to yellow so we have to trigger it on the <coughs> we have to trigger it on the emergency sensor port emergency sensor okay and the condition on this transition is that emergency sensor should be on or in other words true so the constraint okay then constraint element will be emergency sensor only yes emergency sensor and the specification will be that it should be true literal boolean true okay now we need to use the decision choice because from green to yellow there are two kind of possibilities two possibilities in which under which the system can jump from green to yellow one is emergency when there is emergency or emergency sensor is on we have already modeled that here is their transition the other possibility is that when ew green request is true and ns green timer is uh, reaches to three so we need to use the join because there is and condition between them so this is how Now this transition should be fired on EW green request when EW green request is equal to true. So we have to trigger it on EW green require port search for EW green require. EW sensor EW green ground direction. We haven't declared EW green require. So first declare EW green require as an in out port in the structure. So EW green require undefined and its type would be Boolean. okay now go to the behavior and this transition would be on ew green require now search for ew green require this is ew green require okay and ew green require should be true so the constraint God constraint should all, will always be will also be there. Go to this constraint element will be the EW green require and its specification will be literal boolean and true. This is how this transition will be fired. Another condition will be NS timer. And other and this transition will be fired on NS timer signal so we have to trigger it on NS timer port search for NS timer it 
and a screen timer. So this transition is fired on NS green timer. So we have to call the NS timer. We have to call the timer activity inside the green state because when we call the green, we call the timer activity in the green state, the activity will start. And when it reaches to the timer maximum count three in our case, and then this transition will be fired. Okay. So you have to call the timer activity inside the green state. So to call the timer activity, we need to create an activity inside the green state. So do activity, select the green state, go to the properties, do activity, activity. I call it as call timer. And then, okay. So an activity has been created inside the green state. Now you have to go to the model explorer, search for green state and then go to call timer activity. Now this is an empty activity. Right click on call timer activity, go to new child, call behavior action. Call behavior action is basically the action which is used to call the activity from an activity. behavior you want to call I want to call the timer yes and on which port on port and the screen timer okay and this will be go to the this And now when this transition is fired, I want that when this transition is fired, this one, the emergency sensor acknowledge gets true and EW to red command also gets true. So for that purpose, I need to use the effect and opaque behavior. Select the language for opaque behavior. I am using natural language so okay emergency sensor acknowledge is equal to true emergency sensor acknowledge port is equal to true and EW to red command port is equal to true as an effect of this transition I want these values, these values to be updated as an effect of this transition. Now its system goes to the yellow state and then from yellow state uh, there are two transitions on which it can go to the red state. So I need to use the join condition join node. Okay, now there are two transitions from the yellow state. One is on when emergency sensor is off or in other words when emergency sensor is false. So it means we have to trigger this transition on emergency sensor port. For that go to trigger and then port and now search for emergency sensor okay and okay but emergency sensor there is a condition also that emergency sensor should be false so there is a constraint also search for emergency sensor And then literal boolean as a false that there is no emergency then there is also another transition i have used i am using the join node this one because 
the transition from yellow to red state depends on both of these transitions one is no emergency and this transition will be triggered on e when ew to green request is equal to true so when these two, both two conditions meet then it will come out of the join node so that's why i'm using join node now this transition will be triggered on ew green require true so we need to trigger it on ew green require port will be ew green require okay okay and it should be true so the constraint will be the constraint element will be ew green require and specification will be true now this will come up out of this now as an effect of this transition from join to red i want to update the value of ew green grant to two so the effect of this transition will be sorry an opaque behavior then natural language for opaque behavior and i want ew green grant is equal to true ew green grant is equal to true this as the effect of this transition now from red to pre green there is two transitions so i need to join use join node so first transition will be on first transition will be on first transition will be triggered on ns timer so i need to trigger it on timer port ns timer okay which means i have to call the timer activity inside the red state so to call the timer inside the red state just create an activity inside the red state call it as call timer now go to the model explorer search for call timer here right click on the call timer new child call behavior action just like we have done it before just seconds just a minutes ago and timer then on port is an a screen timer okay now there is another transition from green to yellow which is basically on trigger on trigger when there is no emergency or in other words emergency sensor is equal to false this means we have to trigger this transition on emergency sensor here is the emergency sensor okay okay then there is a call that emergency sensor should be false so the constraint element so there is there should be a constraint on this transition and the constraint element will be emergency sensor and then its uh, specification will be literal boolean and false now now this will go to the pre green state so you know this will go to the pre green state when both the, there is no emergency and ns green timer is equal to 3 these two transitions now as effect of this transition from red to pre green this one i need i want to update that ew to red cmd is equal to true 
so the effect of this transition should be opaque behavior and then the language for this behavior is natural language and I want to update EW to red CMD is equal to true this is an effect of this transition now from the system is in pre green state now when there is no emergency that is emergency sensor is off the system will go to the green state and when emergency sensor is on then from pre green state it will go to the red state so I need to use the choice pseudo state okay and uh, a transition okay now from pre green to green it will go from pre green to from pre green it can go either to green state or to red state it will go to green state when there is no emergency which means we need to trigger it on emergency sensor port and the constraint should also be there which is that that emergency sensor should be false emergency sensor sorry it should be literal boolean emergency sensor should be false okay now it can also go to the red state from pre green state okay now this transition will be occur when emergency sensor is true so first we need to trigger it on emergency sensor port and then there should be constraint that emergency sensor should be true emergency sensor should be true <coughs> this is how the north south lights will work now we will transition this remember the fork the outgoing transition from the fork cannot have guard conditions on it then so there is also a reset this transition will trigger whenever there is reset or in other words reset is true in whichever state the system the system is in either it is yellow red pre green green off whenever the reset is on it will go to the reset state back so this transition will be triggered on the reset port means reset port and the code will be that the reset should be true the reset should be true and it will be in true okay this is just the behavior of north south fsm uh, in the next video we will be modeling the east west behavior east west road light behavior Thank you.